And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Our quick look at temperatures this morning. We're in the upper 60s, low 70s, area-wide 70 Peru, 70 in Lafayette, 71 in Attica. I want to get right to radar. We had a good little segment of storms pass through, but once it reached Lafayette, boy, it broke apart fast. But we're still dealing with the cloudiness, a little bit of light to moderate falling rain. I uh, had some decent rainfall totals up in Newton and Jasper County, two to somewhere in areas three inches I saw on some weather stations. But most of us uh, to the north picked up about a half an inch or less and then uh, south of Lafayette a few hundreds uh, a few tenths as well four tenths out in Kokomo about six tenths Crawfordsville three tenths out toward F uh, Pine Village uh, east of Fowler picked up 1.1 inches of rain Purdue Airport officially right now as of right now about three tenths of rain so here's a better look here at radar and satellite. It's going to be a fairly cloudy morning. Notice just the light rain stretching up toward Winnemac, Francisville, Madariville, Monon, Buffalo, Monticello, Lafayette, Brookston, Chalmers, even down toward Attica, Petersburg, and going into Crawfordsville now. So still dealing with the rain. Notice off behind it still some rain and maybe a few thunder showers, rumbles of thunder. So I think this will be with us through the morning hours. So I'm giving way to just those cloudy conditions this morning. But this afternoon, a lot depends on how the atmosphere kind of recovers from all of the clouds and rain this morning. If we can get things broken apart, we get the sun out, we're going to really warm up to the upper 80s, low 90s, and we could be tracking some scattered showers and storms this afternoon. Uh, so for us, for tomorrow, though, most of the day should be dry. We'll start off with some clouds, though. Upper 60s, low 70s once again. We'll see a mostly sunny day. It'll be another warm, humid day with heat in the seas back into the mid to upper 90s, near 100 in spots. Uh, but we could see maybe just an isolated chance of a storm. I think the threat is very low, but something just to keep in mind if you do have any Thursday afternoon plans, but otherwise we're dry. Future cast this morning will show those rain showers with us through at least 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, some light showers here and there, and then we'll try to break up these clouds, but if we stay fairly cloudy, temperatures will likely remain in the 80s. But here's 2 o'clock this afternoon. Notice some showers and storms popping up from the west. Here's 430 going up to about 6, 7 o'clock. Then even midnight tonight could have a few showers and storms. All that then clears out for Thursday, waking up with some sunshine, a few clouds. And then by the afternoon hours, again, can't rule out just a spotty shower or storm. But I think, again, that threat is very low. So I'm really going with a very low chance overall. But once we get to Friday, we'll have a much better chance. Here's Friday morning. We'll start off dry and clear for most of the day. Friday will be dry. Unfortunately, this is 530. We'll have that cold front that will start to push through. A segment, a line segment of storms will be passing by. That'll be our next best widespread chance of rain. This is Saturday morning. May have some lingering showers early Saturday, but after that passes, boy, we have a beautiful weekend in store. Saturday evening, we'll have a nice northeast breeze, northwest breeze. Uh, but before that, though, this afternoon evening, a level one marginal risk for one of those storms to be strong to severe. Damaging winds will be our main threat. Isolated hail. Again, level one out of five. Again, strong storm or two. Now this is Friday for the cold front that'll pass through late afternoon, evening hours, mainly after four or five o'clock in the evening. Unfortunately, those high school football games may be in jeopardy with some of these storms. Damaging winds again, isolated hail cannot be ruled out. So a busy forecast over the next couple of days, but uh, today we'll definitely watch for that cloud cover to see if it sticks around. If it does, those temperatures will be in jeopardy. Uh, only stay in the 80s, but nobody's complaining after likely the hottest day yesterday of the year. 91 tomorrow, 92 Friday before the cold front moves in. After that uh, moves out, we'll see temperatures stay in the 80s, back to somewhat near normal for the weekend, and then below normal as we get toward Labor Day, 76. And we'll slowly warm back up into the 80s by the end of next week with really little to no rain chances for next week. Jokes. Beautiful. I'm breathing a deep sigh of relief. The worst <laughs> is behind us now, David. Yes. Everybody relax, calm down, fall, mm -hmm. maybe, hopefully on the way, but definitely hottest day of the year right. uh, yesterday. Wow. Yeah, you know, a lot of areas hit uh, mid to upper 90s yesterday. Yeah. He, uh, peak heat in the seas were 108, 110, mm. very hot weather. Yeah. Uh, but today uh, just going to be 
highly dependent on that cloud cover. Mm -hmm. It's still going to be hot and humid out sure. there, and we'll be watching those storms. Much better than yesterday, thank goodness. Definitely. All right, thank you, Dave.